everybody, it's Jake with Keller Williams and we are here at my house. I've got a couple tips for you as you start to get things ready for this spring. So one of the things is screening. So some of us have bought new houses over the last year and you see, you see the same thing I do. You see people that plant Leland cypresses because they think that's the only screening material out there and then they get too big because guess what, they grow like 50 feet and then you gotta cut them down and spend a bunch of money on tree service. Uh, this right here, this is called a tea olive. This is one of my favorite plants for screening material. You can keep this to any height. The deer won't eat it. It blooms twice a year. When it blooms, it's got these little, little white flowers like that. It smells like heaven. Absolutely, it's, it's the only thing that I know that smells better than roses in your yard. Blooms twice a year and you can keep it to whatever size you want. You can keep it this size forever if you really want to. You can let it grow into a tree form. I mean, you can screen out anything. Uh, and it smells really good. Uh, one of the other things that we have start to come out this time of year is you start to see tunneling in the yards. So usually that's moles or voles. The difference between the two, moles are after grubs, uh, insects, things like that, and voles are eating plants. Years ago, I learned the number one way to get rid of moles or voles that are tearing up your yard, sorry cat haters, is to get an outdoor cat. Uh, an extension agent told me that probably 15 years ago. I've never forgotten it. It's the only thing that has ever worked in our yards that we've had things tearing up the yard. Uh, if you're gonna get a cat, go adopt one from the Humane Society. There's plenty of them that need homes. Females are the hunters in the feline species. So get a female outdoor cat, take good care of it, but uh, it will rid your yard of those things. We've had it on two different houses. It works like a charm and you just might turn out like me and start to like cats. Things around the perimeter of the house to keep things from coming in. Now this is not foolproof because this is organic, but it's going to be a whole lot safer than anything else you could spray around the outside of the house. So at the dollar store, you can get stuff like this, dollar store spices. So ground cinnamon, cayenne pepper, and garlic, garlic powder. Equal parts of these three. I use an old Gold Bond baby powder, I don't know, something like this. I just combine them in there and I just go around the perimeter of their house. All insects hate those three things, garlic, cinnamon, and cayenne pepper. So just go around the perimeter if you feel like they're coming in a particular area in the house, treat that area. And then for all of your plants, all the things you just wanna see bloom and be healthy over the summer months, especially uh, get a good root system in the off months. This stuff is Osmocote. It's like 13, 14 dollars at Home Depot Lowe's. This stuff is a three to four month fertilizer. It's sulfur coated and basically for the layman, that means it's not gonna burn your plants. So if you use regular garden fertilizer and you throw it out on your plants, you'll notice it turns the leaves uh, yellow brown, it kind of burns them. Uh, this is coated with sulfur, which keeps it from burning the plants and it feeds it gradually for about three to four months. So if all you did was a couple times a year, throw a little bit of that at the base of your plants, you're gonna have really healthy plants throughout the year and they're gonna bloom really pretty in the summer months. So those are just a few tips. If I can ever help you in the real estate world with buying or selling a piece of property, I would be happy to. You can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Jake Moran Realtor. My information is coming up here soon. Those are just a few tips. If I can ever help, help bleh, green material, bleh, stay the root to plants. So, bleh. Um, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sitting on a very fancy five gallon bucket. Five gallon bucket. Right there, five gallon bucket. That's like the best $4 you'll ever spend in your life.